What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a table for the deck. And right now I just have like 10 pieces of scrap. 2 by 4 is left. Uh, what I'm going to do is even them out 22 and a half inches long. So I'm going to make all the cuts first, then stain them, and then construct it. Just that way I don't have to worry about getting in any crevices or cracks or anything. And it'll all be keyboard. ton of sawdust going everywhere so what we did is we just ended up attaching the shop back to our saw that is an option for you if not then I definitely recommend wearing glasses as well as the mask all right so now I have this old Christmas towel I don't really care about it um, what I found is that using a rag instead of a paintbrush or I didn't spend any money on this project. I do know that a pint of wood stain is maybe $15. A box of two and a half inch screws is about $10. And then the wood, you'll need two two by four by tens, and that's gonna be literally $8. So you might spend a total of $33 on this, which is a huge save. I'm back. My yard is super long, but I cut my hair myself. I have no idea what fashion is, so I don't know if this looks good or not, but um, we're gonna go with it. We're gonna get back to this DIY. It's actually been a couple of days, and so this is all dry. I'm gonna flip it over and then paint the other side. Like I said before, I am just using a random rag from the house. And what I found after doing the deck and the bench, the rag makes the paint or the stain come out a lot smoother. You don't have the brush strokes or the strokes from the roller. So I recommend now knowing and learning from my mistakes um, although the other projects came out really well, I think that using a rag, it will come out even better. So these are the screws that I'm using and I 
I've actually used these for all of my exterior um, DIYs thus far. They're two and a half inches exterior decking screws. They're in green. It doesn't really matter what color they are. You can get whatever color you want. We got this huge box of them and we still have plenty, plenty more. They do have a T25 bit that you'll need for it. It comes with a bit. That bit was trash. My goal for this video, ow. Okay, so my goal for this video is to only use the wood that I have. Um, and I wanna keep the cost low and I wanna keep all the supplies and materials to a minimum. But um, these planks are gonna be too long. They hang over about an, an inch and a half. This is 22 and a half inches. And then when you measure out what the actual cords are going to be from here to here, it's 21 inches. So I'm actually going to get this all again, cut this an inch and a half shorter. And then for these, I'm going to cut them in half. That way I don't have to buy any more wood. As I said, I will be cutting these two by fours 21 inches long. So I will be cutting one and a half inches off so that it will be even with the top of the table. For the legs of the table, I will be cutting the 2x4s in half, so instead of 22 and a half inch long legs, which was my original plan, to save money and time from going to the store, I'm cutting these in half and they're going to be 11 and a quarter inch long. I'm using a level just to make sure that I'm putting the 2x4 on top, like, you know, I want it to be straight with the base ports. After I put the first board in, I just lined everything up next to it, making sure they're all even across the bottom. And then I put two screws in each board, and I did my best to keep them in a straight line. So you can see from this angle that there were a few places that needed touch-ups, and I just, you know, used the paint and covered up those spots that needed the touch-ups. And right now I'm trying to fit and see where things are gonna go. I decided to put it on the inside. Whenever I had all the legs put on, my drill didn't fit in that narrow area anymore. So I ended up undrilling everything, taking it all out, and then putting the legs on the outside of those supporting boards, and then it worked perfectly. Um, like I said, I did the touch-ups for the paint, and then that was it, and I had my perfect little coffee table that I wanted. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe and then I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Bye!